Hi. Welcome to another episode of Dawn Dusk. I'm Stussy, Lune Piena's Satellite 01, and I'm from Japan. Today, I have brought a theory. First of all, I would like to share the conclusion of this theory. What if the entire world of One Piece existed inside the Earth? I know I know. It sounds like a silly theory, but you can get a lot of hints by reading One Piece in the original language. For example, have you ever seen this kanji? In the One Piece manga, it means Lodestar Island. But if you understand the true meaning of these kanji, you might receive a message from Sensei Order. In this video, I will also explain the true meaning of this kanji. Anyway, Sensei Order always loves to hide clues using wordplay and subtle nuances in Japanese. That's why in this channel, I would like to share the most in-depth theories and analyzes with the original language. If you are already subscribed, we are already Nekama. I'll show you a book, whose Japanese version is titled Cho Shambara. According to this book, the Earth is hollow and inside there is a source of light called the Central Sun. Therefore, following this theory, even the world of one piece inside the Earth is hollow, and the world represented on the map exists on the inner surface. Additionally, there is an artificial sun in the center. Furthermore, according to this book, the dominant city on Earth is called Shambhala and is located at the center of the planet, accessible through the holes at the North and South Poles. Shambhala sounds like Chandra. In Japanese, it is spelled with just one letter of difference. Moreover, we might see two holes. Do you remember the enormous hole present in the world of One Piece? Yep, Eni's lobby. Through this hole, it might be possible to reach the inner surface of the Earth as described in the book. In the book, there are two holes at the North and South Poles, while it seems like there are no others in the world of One Piece. However, since the Straw Hat Pirates have not yet reached Lodestar Island, there might be another hole along the Grand Line. But perhaps some of you may have thought once before. There is another strange place. Colon Reverse Mountain. It is a gigantic mountain at the entrance of the Grand Line that separates the first half from the second. The particularity of Reverse Mountain is that the currents of the four seas, north, south, east, and west, converge and flow up the mountain creating a waterfall that spills into a lake at its summit. This makes it possible for ships to climb the waterfall, and cross the mountain to enter the Grand Line. There might be another big hole under that mountain like in his lobbies. In the original version, Roger says which can be interpreted in different ways. One possible translation is let's turn the world upside down. This phrase could indicate that the world is physically on the other side of the earth, and that to get there one would have to pass through a cavity under the mountain. In addition, immediately after the Straw Hat Pirates crossed Reverse Mountain, who did they meet? And where did they meet him? They met a liar in the body of Laboon. When they entered Laboon's body, they thought they were outside. In reality, the sky was painted inside Laboon's body by Crocus. This could indicate that the world in which Luffy lives is inside the Earth and that Crocus knows the truth. Furthermore, in this scene, Luffy says here's the real sky. But perhaps they still haven't seen the real sky. Moreover, this liar may have given us the answer from the beginning. Also, Roger says. My treasure? If you want it, I'll give it to you. You just have to find it. I left everything in the world there. The word Soko means there. But it also has another meaning, underneath or below. So the place where Roger left the treasure could be below. Namely under Reverse Mountain. Moreover, he says I left everything in the world there. What is everything in the world? It could refer to the truth about the world of One Piece, the world outside the Earth. And Whitebeard said. Following this theory, if someone were to find the One Piece, 
It could mean that there is a hole that allows one to cross the surface of the Earth. This discovery would certainly change the world of One Piece. To support this theory, let's look at the name of this mountain. Reverse Mountain. Do you remember what Roger said? Let's turn the world upside down. This could represent that the world will be turned upside down by passing through this mountain. Additionally, I would like to add some information. In the world of One Piece, there are no stars visible in the sky. Don't believe me? We can see some nighttime scenes. But particularly in the world of One Piece, the moon is drawn in a strange way, which could indicate that it was artificially created. If I'm not mistaken, no one in the world of One Piece mentions the word star in the sky. In Japanese, the word for star is this. But this kanji is mostly used for important names such as Five Elders, Stella of Vegapunk, and Lodestar Island. Even Pole Star Island contains the word star. Lodestar Island is probably an island near Laugh Tail. And in Japanese, it is written as these kanjis, which, as we have seen, contains the kanji for star. And this kanji means water, while this kanji can mean destination or beyond. So load star could indicate there are stars beyond the destination of the water flow. But where does the water flow end in the world of One Piece? Maybe here. Or even here. There could be stars beyond this location as well. According to this theory, there are two holes in the world of One Piece that are accessible on the surface of the Earth. If the Straw Hat Pirates were to go outside the Earth, they could find the stars and be all blue. So, they were always inside a birdcage. However, we must also consider what refutes this theory. First point. In the world of One Piece, there are sunrise and sunset. In this case, it could not explain the existence of central sun. It's difficult to explain perfectly, but it could be that the artificial sun illuminates each region in turn. In fact, Lilith says, if only there were an unquenchable flame, I could even create a sun. This could imply the artificial sun created by Nika. So, with the technology of 800 years ago, it could have been possible to create an artificial sun that illuminates the entire interior of the Earth with advanced technology. Second point. Enel was able to reach space. Also why Fujitora was able to pull the meteorite from space. The biggest obstacle to this theory would be Enel's mini-adventure. Because Enel practically flew out of the Earth and reached space. Also, I want to show you something. Only in this mini-adventure, can we see the stars. Even though we don't see stars in the main story. This could suggest that Order Sensei intentionally separates them. However, there is a solution to this question. Outer space exists inside the Earth. And the artificial sun revolves around that outer space. I know many of you may have been stunned and stopped watching the video. But if you're still watching, let me explain a little more. Let's look at Ahara's globe. In our galaxy, the Earth revolves around the Sun. But in the world of One Piece, for some reason, the other planets revolve around the Earth, and the Earth is bigger than any other planet. For this reason, in the world of One Piece, the artificial Sun and outer space could exist on this Earth. Furthermore, if in the world of One Piece we can see the Moon, then the other planets should also be visible, but we can't see even one. What do you think? I think the likelihood of this theory being correct may not be very high, but through it we can consider many other possibilities in the world of One Piece. I also have other theories about Laugh Tale and the secret of the world of One Piece. I would like to publish another theory that Zoro could be the key. So, if you're interested, let me know by giving a like. Thank you for watching this video to the end.